Um, another example of, it wasn't the princess, like, all of them weren't always example of damsel in distress scenario. Ones that are, like, the big example that actually helped the hero, the male protagonist, like, Princess Jasmine was a big example of that. When, well, yeah, that's true. When, uh, she saw yeah, like, Aladdin was still alive and was trying to get the lamp, she had to go through the trouble of distracting Jafar by purposely being seductive, which I still can't help but to freak out of that scene. like, okay, my, how old is Jafar supposed mm. to be in this? And I, I can't help but to be he, a little creepy. He is, he is I am... way Jafar too old. <laughs> yeah, way too old. Like, the man looks like Jafar he's like... No, but yeah, what I'm like, what I'm saying is, I probably would have received this scene better if a princess ah, that fuck. actually solved her problem fuck. herself was the one who said, "Does everybody just assume that all your problems were solved by being a strong man?" Just so I wouldn't be able to sit there and say, um, "Yes, that's what happened." Well, yeah. Well, you know, if someone like. Is like, if someone like Mulan said it, then yeah. Also, I'd like to remind everyone that in the original Wreck-It Ralph, a majority of Vanellope's problems were solved by Ralph because he built her cart. He had Felix put it back together. He basically fostered and developed her ability to actually race. She didn't do any of that shit. He built her track. He basically did a majority <laughs> of the things. I love what Morpheus and... uh, says in the chat. What? What did you say? Oh my god. Ag Agrabah police. Agrabah police department up and up. Agrabah. It's be yeah, because Jasmine because is 15. Of what I just said. 15 isn't even legal in the UK. Holy shit. Um... The age of consent is like 14 in Japan. That means oh. nothing to me. <laughs> that still. Yeah. That still disturbs me. Me too. Honestly, I feel like it's all a matter of where you were born and where you grew up, because in these other places, this stuff is, like, embedded in their culture, like it is for us. Like, in the US and the UK, we have our particularly strict laws on particular topics, and in Japan, they have them as well, but they're done in a different way, and the range is smaller. That's what, with that said, that means, that, that, that's a perfect thing for you to say, isn't it? Fucking Ultimately, hell! None yeah, of us smart has me. any right to say anything about how they do. Stuff. Yeah. So I guess what I'm saying is, like, we should never approach how another country handles things in a negative way. But you know, we don't have to agree with it, but it's the way they have it. Like, for yeah. example, the different ages between the U.S. and the U.K. Like, the U.K. has l like lower ages for things like drinking and adult things and stuff like that than the US does. Oh boy. <laughs> and we all just is like we're both able to sit there and coexist with each other and accept that. Like I can drink at nineteen, you can drink at twenty one. Yeah. I do remember that was like one of the things that the UK had at, like its own laws like, oh all right. it's like while it is like while <laughs> I'll oh, never oh. be while I will never stand against things like consent laws, because if that's what you believe in, you should stick by that, because that shit's important to safeguard people. Yeah. It's, it's like, safeguarding is good, so long as you're not censoring a cartoon. If a cartoon isn't meant for that age, keep it away from them. And yeah. then... Um, then... Yeah. So, so but... Some things I don't quite understand is when they say, oh, you got to be 21 to drink. And I'm just like, um, boy, how pissed scared are you of teens drinking? Or is it they have to be 21 to legally purchase? Um, oh. it's, mo it's actually mostly you have to be that age to legally purchase alcohol. Gotcha. Yeah. That's basically like, what it is. Damn it. 
It's, hey, um, your parents' house, you literally could do the fuck you want. Exactly. Okay, hold on. I'm not J12. doing too well right now. J12, I'm sorry that, like, you're dealing with things, but, like... Hey, what's going on? Oh, it's like, whether you're depressed or just tired, try and, like... Try and keep that between you and people you trust to yeah. talk to mm -hmm. with. It's like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't just vent stuff publicly just because you want people to see it. Wait, Snow yeah. White is 14? What the hell? Yeah, yeah like, Snow White is supposed to be that it's supposed to be the age of 14 or 16 in the. Oh wow. Ah. Oh. And just when you realize uh, the the princesses you look up to are underage. Well, except Cinderella and Elsa. That yeah, that moment when you realize the princesses Pocahontas you look up. Yeah, I like, think uh, Pocahontas was a different case. I don't remember how old she. Is. So in your, uh, okay, in the like original 12. myth, in the original uh, story of Pocahontas, she's underage. In the movie, she was a real person. Yeah, yeah. In the real, in the original real, uh, real events of Pocahontas, she was underage. Hmm. It's actually quite hilarious when you consider that we're all older than a majority of the Disney princesses, and probably taller than them as well. <laughs> All those princesses you looked up to, and it turns out you, they're the ones look looking up at you. <laughs> I mean, one of them actually flat out said their actual age. I don't Who? know about if any of the others. Oh, uh, Ariel. That's right. Yeah. Ariel flat out said she's 16 years old. And I'm like, okay, I hear the, I hear the ages. I hear the ages of these people. I'm just like, you guys are so small. You're babies comparison to us! Of course, back then when this came, when it came out, it wasn't even seen as a big Damn it! Deal. It wasn't seen as that, like, as, like, that big of a deal because back then, in the 90s, it wasn't seen as a small age. Of course, that all changed over the years. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's right, uh, Rapunzel. Her age yeah. was mentioned. Rapun Oh yeah, Rapunzel was 18. Yeah, her. She I think her 18th cool. birthday was like the main plot point. Like she Cinder wanted to see yeah, the world yeah, yeah, yeah. for her 18th yeah. birthday. Cinderella is also of age. 18. Wait, how old is Cinderella? That's 19. Oh. Let's see. Snow White's 14. Cinderella is 19. Right, Aurora 16. Ariel 16. Yes. Uh, Belle is 17. That's right, Belle was actually up? close to being the adult age. It's close to being the adult age. The only. To some of the, others. The, I don't only know, <laughs> the only princesses that are at age are Cinderella. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Belle depends on which state you're in. Yeah. The Rapunzel, Anna, Anna, ah. and Elsa. Wow, I can't believe those last three rhyme. Fuck! Well, uh, the, uh... Also, um, it. Because... <laughs> What is the actual age for, like, legal age in France? Because that's where, uh, what Bell's parents originated from is in France. Uh, legal age in France. I'm Google searching that right now. Damn it! Fuck! Age of and I'm dead again. In France. 14! What? Who? Yeah! Okay! Age okay, of consent! Okay. Age of consent in uh in France is fourteen. Okay, yes, so Belle's can. way past that age. Oof. So that makes okay, that that makes me feel a little more comfortable knowing that. Okay, well I thought Japan was the only oh, one who did fuck, that. Fuck, 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 fuck. Mm. Because I know the people in Japan were just like that, like the actual legal age is fourteen. In Japan. Oh, honestly, damn. If, it was getting really honestly, close. If, if you really think about it, like, all of this stuff evolved over time anyway, because, like, back freaking tens of years ago, decades and shit, none of this would be a thing. Like, all of the yeah. ages would be completely different. In fact, in some places, there may not even have been one. That was just common sense, <laughs> mostly. Elsa's, Elsa's the oldest, would bang. And technically, she's not a princess, she's a queen. Yeah. EG's, not about, that Disney... EG's not about that princess life. Still, uh, apparently Disney's, uh, Disney uh, 
is already calling uh, Elsa a princess despite her being a queen. That's marketing for you. We can't call her a princess. We, we can't call her a queen. Queens are evil. Um, no. <laughs> um, that was Hasbro's mentality. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, you know what's funny? Uh, the okay, Lord wait, 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 wait. Hmm. I have to make this joke now. Hasbro, queens are evil. Elsa, am I a joke to you? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <Burn. laughs> and then, and then, that di and like, no, 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 and then. No, and then Disney just leans in like, well, yeah, kind of. And, um, Ice beam attack. <laughs> I do remember uh, Lauren Faust uh, saying that originally Celestia original, was going to uh, be Queen of... Celestia. Yeah, Queen Celestia. I like that. I like Wait, Queen Celestia being. Is she or was she? She, she was, was going, going to be. be originally. Oh. She was going to be originally in the plot line, in the plot development, but Hasbro decided makes to change sense. that on her. Mm -hmm. Because Hasbro has to make people, they had to I follow make... the actual concept of princesses are seen as more advertisement worthy for merchandising. Yeah. Oh because, you know. They care more wouldn't... about selling than they care about, you know, storytelling. I would not yes. sell. I would not market my shit. <laughs> I would not Why either. Call her goddess. True that. That? She's Holy shit. That. That would have been very effective, but then again, people would like they complain about you know religious stuff because anything re like referring to God or whatnot. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. Yeah, there was controversy that happened when Hunchback oh. of Notre Dame came out. There's oh shit! Oh fuck! Something? I'm in the I final thought... stage at a very Brilliant. low health, no less. I imagine a lot of those. I imagine that a lot of those people are like Christians aren't evil. Catholic people never did anything wrong. Um, you know, uh, you last know, part of like, this. Okay, I'm not gonna last fonder. here. I just know that right now. This is like when I hear someone complain that like people misrepresent religion in things like games and movies. All I can think is you definitely prefer religious studies to actual history. Because I have, because there are there are multiple documented accounts of things going on in Catholic churches that have something to say about your stance on this issue. So you may want to close that face of yours. I also I can prove that that also is the biggest. Oh my God! My At five ener like five energy units, I defeated this asshole. Where are you going? Where are you going? Get the fuck back here! <laughs> anyway, um, also why? Get the fuck back. Why did the SAX turn into a freaking Ridley frog? I... Um... There's a whole story behind that. <sighs> it's like, it suddenly decided it was gonna... Like... Right. Not look intimidating by making itself look like the pinkies from Doom. <laughs> Alright, well, time to evacuate. Heading... Orbiting the implemented... Uh, whatever. Gotta get the fuck out. You know how all these uh, Metro games are. Gotta get the fuck out. Run away! Run away! I actually also, did I say want... M M Morpheus. I did. If you saw that the uh, screen was frozen for a bit, I was safe stating. Hmm. And I just want to point out, you're blowing up an entire planet. Yeah. Hold on, I'll be right back. So you're gonna go Vegeta on the planet? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just want to point out Vegeta never destroyed a planet. What Golden is no! doing is Frieza. Alright, come on. No, I need that shit right now. A planet, Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Vegeta has not... Oh. Oh, you mean the planet. Yeah, the planet that, <laughs> the planet the planet that got blown up. The planet? My son or me? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, so I can't save there. No, it's just like, uh, no, because, uh, the thing was, uh, Vegeta has, it has the, the final flash power, and that could destroy a whole planet with that, and with that thing. Um, eh, maybe. Oh, I yeah, bug planet. Like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the bug planet, he did destroy the bug planet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I mean. A Golden Fox is going to pull a Vegeta. Yeah, <laughs> for, like, yeah, the but... upteen time, you know? Yeah, but yeah. fucking Frieza did it better, and Frieza did it first. 
And there's even a golden freezer. There's no golden Vegeta. <laughs> I can be the Vegeta. Where's my shit? Why is it, oh. why is your ship gone? I don't know. No one ever, no one ever goes to sleep. Uh -oh, here we go. Um, is this supposed to happen? Yes. No one ever goes to. Oh shit! Oh night. Jesus! Oh fucking hell! I just Wait, got knocked down to one energy unit. I got bitch what? slapped. What is that? <laughs> Whatever what it is. is Whatever the fuck it is. It's a... It's a Metroid. Why? We're left. Oh. Like okay, there's a reason why I'm constantly okay. moving around like that. It's still that way I don't get hit. It's getting closer! Don't touch me! Oh, you... You gained the you gained the supercharged thing. Yeah. And we got big boobs. Okay, the there was no way I could have evaded that. Jesus Christ! Get up. He's also, almost done. That's what a Metroid grows into. I yeah, think that's so. A, that's what the full evolved Metroid looks like. Oh yeah, season. I forgot about uh. I forgot He's about done. The okay. Why Just... though? Oh yeah, season. That's I forgot about Princess Elena. Like, I thought Metroids were supposed to be like the really cool all space right. jelly thing. Time to get the fuck yeah, out. Apparently you haven't watched all these creatures. So all right, shit. waiting for another explosion as the ship evacuates the space it's colony. Like a Jurassic Park reject. <laughs> <laughs> and kaboom goes SR388. That's yeah, it. Yeah, what uh, Darth Vader said. The Federation is going to be pissed when they found out you broke all their new toys. Oh, fucking boohoo. <laughs> what do you mean they blew up the Death Star? I'm not saying you won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great, EG. That perfect military Who's mind. Who's they? The what the hell is a Millennium Falcon? <laughs> so, dialogue time. That perfect military mind. The wisdom of Adam Malkovich continued to serve even after death. Until today. I had no idea that the minds of leaders and scientists were frequently uploaded to computers. My incredible reunion with Adam may have saved the universe. But how will the beings of the universe view our resolve? <laughs> Which of the three Death Stars do us ask? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> when I said, what do you mean they blew up the Death Star? Twist asked me, like, which of the three Death Stars? <laughs> I don't see that in the chat. No, he, he PM'd me that. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, continuing. But how will the beings of the universe view our resolve? I doubt they will understand what we did. The danger we barely um, averted. They will hold terminals and investigations. Tribunals. Tri yeah, whatever. They will hold tribunals <laughs> and investigations. They will hold us responsible. Adam understood this, and he spoke to me in my anger. Do not worry. One of them will understand. One of them must. I've reflected upon his words, and I see the wisdom in them. We are all bound by our experiences. They are the limits of our consciousness. But in the end, the human soul will ever reach for truth. This is what Adam taught me. Just one detail still bothers me. This ship can only be started manually, yet before I faced the Omega Metroid, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone else's hands. Is it possible, Adam? Wait, did they pull a... Did they pull a... Shh. Lady, what's troubling you? You wonder how I started the ship. Just think about it. They lent me a hand and there's the last shot oh it's a nice generosity <laughs> in return oh oh yeah the animal <laughs> saved samus as as um as uh, solar said so yeah that was metroid fusion and holy crap is this game hard Picture is so 
fuck you. They're all mm-hmm. cuddling. <laughs> What's so funny? What? Uh, Twitch sent me a picture. If if you blew up, if you blew up a uh, three Death Stars at the same time, you get this. I shared it in the stream chat. Oh. <laughs> I'll I'll have to look at it at some point. <laughs> oh my god! It's <laughs> <laughs> and that's a hidden Vicky. <laughs> uh, Derek the Brony wants to see the picture of EG. Uh, okay, I'll share it in the stream chat. Okay. Yeah. What I'm about to share with you guys. This is. Oh my god! It, when you pull up is... three that stars. Was... This is the picture uh, when you blow up three Death Stars at the same time. <laughs> that is so stupid, but I love it anyway. Oh yeah, I think that's the idea. I think that's the point. <laughs> oh wow. Just fucking wow. <laughs> so was Mickey Mouse secretly the- <laughs> Derek brought the human by day. My rate of collecting items was uh, pretty low. Oh. You know, it's funny that it says, you know, see you the next mission when in all actuality, um, there's not going to be a next mission. Right. They, they said that this is supposed to be the last installment or the end of the timeline. Hmm. But in any case, um, that concludes uh, Metroid Fusion. Um, I'm glad I finished all these. Same. Yeah. I'm glad the pain is over. <laughs> the pain is over. Oh, there's probably. I thought you said the pain, I thought you said the pain is over. Oh, shut up. The pain. No, uh, that... God, take it easy. I keep mishearing him. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, I kind of heard that too, bro. Don't, don't worry about it. Fucking like what? all those bosses and that shit with the the gold space pirate guys. Yeah, logic. Uh, uh, like, oh god, freaking season. It free, season shared a picture. Oh, it's British porn. <laughs> just, the, yes, it's just, of, it's just of gravy. course. Anyways, um, that being said, that's the end of this one. Anybody on YouTube watching this, thank you for watching. Um, I'll catch you on post show. <laughs>